All right. So, Michael, um, when you think of comedy great, yeah. okay, who yeah. do you think of? Well, uh, I guess the first thing jumps to mind, Chuckle Brothers, obviously oh, brilliant. Barry Chuckle. Uh, do you remember? To you, to yeah, and do you remember that dog, right? It could actually say sausages. It was brilliant. You go, sausages. That's uh, genius. Okay. All right, genius. honestly, right, okay, yeah, yeah no, I, 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 I can see your point, but in yeah. the real world, okay, right. um, there's a handful of comics who you'd truly give the title of comedy great more so even it's than a dog, the Chuckle Brothers. It says sausages. <laughs> what is not funny about but, that? Well, like, compare that to Morecambe and Wise. Norm right. Wisdom. Good point. And of course, French and Saunders. You yeah. win. Okay, so when I got the call to hang out with the British stalwarts backstage at their tour, well, I wasn't going to say no, was I? Nah. If I was to ask anyone who the most celebrated female comedy double act were, of course, without a doubt, you would say French and Saunders. 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 Well, they're currently on their goodbye tour this week. They're in Brighton, so I thought I'd come down and find out why they've decided to call it a day. I can't believe that this is it, that you're calling it a day. It is. What? You must believe it, Jenny. <laughs> I think it's You it? must believe it because it's true. You're not doing that, are you? And then next year you'll go, oh, we've decided to come back and do another one. No, we're not going to do that. Um, Why is this? Have you just had it with each other? No, we've come to the end of the French and Saunders thing, actually. I think that mm. there's so many other things we want to do, and French and Saunders was getting in the way a bit. It's time to go and time to... And it's time for lots of new little comedy puppies to come along and... Do sketch shows. You know, you've got do you think Britain be now? as funny as you? No, no obviously not. not. <laughs> of course not. And that's why it's good to bow out now while we still are. Thank and you. go, oh, really? <laughs> not well, wait yeah. for people to go, please <laughs> leave now. So what can people expect to see if they come down to one of the shows? There's a lot of topless work in the show. Mm. And there's dolphins. Pole dancing. And pole dancing. Yeah. Yes. Apparently there's some illegal cocoa substances, also known as chocolate, in the audience tonight. <laughs> now, I have been sent by the Chocolate Bureau of Investigation to go into the audience and brutal out the evil perpetrators of the crime. That's why I've got this pinhole camera. Why, every time we try and do something a little bit more mature, you reduce it to this pathetic juvenilia. Stop looking straight at me! We've reworked some old stuff and we've done a lot of new stuff. And we do the first Ab Fab sketch that we did. And you and do, do some dancing. We we'll do some she dancing. Some dancing. We'll be doing a bit do of singing. I do some dancing. You do. Yes. yes. I do she some does. dancing. Thank you for calling it dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and we have, of ever course, we have that a very special guest. Madonna appears in our show. Yes. Yeah, which is nice. It's that she's amazing come on to tour get with Madonna. us. <laughs> I know, wasn't it? Should we we'll take you on a wander? Uh, Will you follow us? Are perfect, you able to yeah. do that? Perfect. There's Jennifer. Dancing with Brendan. We stand here looking at there. Do you get there. butterflies before yes, you go Yes, this out. is where we get the butterflies here. Yeah. That's my school, school outfit. So this is my ballroom dancing dress, which is based, I think, on Kate Garraway's very famous red dress. Thank you very much for letting us see behind the scenes. Yes. Very this well. is how it right. what If you think you're making an offer on the place, just do this. <laughs> <as well. laughs> You both met in 1977, training to be drama teachers. So why did you decide to suddenly go for an audition for the comic strip then? Um, I saw the advert. I wasn't teaching, surprisingly, at the time. Jennifer wasn't aware she was on a teaching course, really, for quite a long time. And I heard you didn't get on, is that right? Well, we did not get on. It was but just we that we were like, I came same to college late. Clique. But the comic strip as well was what you did initially for the first ten years, wasn't mm, it, as well? It and was, you worked yeah. with some brilliant people on that. We did. Well, it was a real We were lucky plan. on that. To, to, we kind of fell on our feet in a way. And also, because... we did get in very easily because we were women they were yes. desperate for women in the lineup. political correctness and when you were doing the comic strip is that right that jack nicholson and robin williams came always because it was the producer was michael white who was a massive socialite robin williams came because he always went to comedy clubs whatever city he was visiting it did used to be the joke that everyone was looking at the audience no one was looking at the stage <laughs> and then in 87 when french and saunders was made its own show that was apparently the biggest budget comedy show it didn't start that way but it did become that although I, I think when you're very young, you, you, you only think about the next few weeks. You're just excited about what's going to happen. You don't think, here's our career, here we go. You just think, oh, lucky us, look what's happening. We've been allowed a big official dressing up box. Let's jump in and show off. So you know each other really well, having worked together for 30 years. So, Jennifer, what's um, Dawn's worst habit, then? Her worst habit, she cannot leave a room. If, you, if she <laughs> says, Dawn, if I say, Dawn, are you ready to go? She'll say yes. She will then say goodbye to everybody, including the mouse and the skirting board. 
How about Jennifer? What's her worst habit? She takes phone calls in the middle of you talking to yeah. her, to anybody. Well, anybody feel... who's on the phone is more important than you speaking to her at that moment. Oh, well, I feel quite honoured then so far. No <laughs> yeah, so, but, yeah you're, you're lucky. And you've had quite a lot of individual projects. Absolutely fabulous. Vicar of Dibley, to name just a couple. So it seems like there's a bit of friendly rivalry between you <laughs> yeah. and But you know, the weird thing about it... There wasn't uh, any until this, you this series, and we decided, uh, this um, live show, and then we decided to put a it's bit in. It's the kind of thing I think people think that we have, this rivalry, when in fact I don't really think we do. Actually, if you really love somebody and they're your friend and they have a successful thing happen to them in their life, you're, you're glad for them. You might have a little twinge of jealousy, but you're much more glad and proud of them than you are jealous of them. You know, and that, it's, that's a, I think that's a good measure of a proper friend, actually. You're never pleased for me. You're always like going, oh, I can't believe you got that. And that is not I'm true. I'm always just enthusiastic I always when you get a job. You, you never know? tell me anything. That's the truth. You're so oh, secretive. Man. Anyway, enough of our... <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. just some domestic on the sofa. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. That's what they want to see. The viewers want to see that. <laughs> OK, right, OK. It's 9.09 and 35 seconds. So time for us to take another quick break. Don't touch your remote, though, because we have still got all this to come. Unfold your arms. It's a defensive position. I know it's freezing in here. That's <laughs> <laughs> like that. Entourage is Adrian Grenier, Eva Longoria, and our resident TV guru, Mr Richard Arnold. We'll see you in three. Right. Like